So here I am again, folks, in my uh, garage. And uh, behind me, before I'd start this review of this uh, Orchard Irish Cider from Aldi, and uh, you've probably seen I did a review on uh, some crisps, Slab Crisp. And um, they were bloody brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And um, they seen it. They seen my review and they loved it. Um, Keith and is it BG or Beggy? I don't know. I don't know how you say. They make these names up. And um, they loved my review. And they sent me a little certificate thing. So, hello, Dave. We've all worked out now that my name is Dave. All right, Dave. Uh, thanks to Unky Steve, letting that cat out the bad, uh, bag. So, uh, they sent me a nice little uh, picture thing. Oh, bloody hell, I've left me glasses in there. Uh, Dave, what can we say about your Ace review? It was fabulous. We love you down to earth style. Straight talking manner. As a small thank you, you've sent an enclosed selection of the flavours that... Uh, of all the flavours that they do. I hope you enjoy them. And um, so they sent me a lovely massive box of crisps and it's really appreciated. When I do this, I don't set out as such for freebies or anything like this. I just do this as a little hobby, um, but I am being advised to, uh, you know, not be taken as a mug. And little things like this. I'm all about promoting little businesses and helping them along. And I hopefully will be doing more small businesses as, as I go along on this journey. So thank you, Keith and BG or whatever, staying alive. Ha, ha. Sorry, I bet you have that all the while, don't you? Bet you get fed up the back teeth of it. Um, so thank you. Also, I will be doing a thing where this wall is for hire, right? This wall here is for hire. Um, I have got some other stuff that's going to go up there. It will go up there at a cost. You know, I'm not going to be stupid about this, but a small contribution to me. Because what I'm going to do is anything that I make on uh, this money side, once I've got the kids' MacBook out of the way, I will be ploughing it back into the Blue Van Man thing. I want to make this a, not a brand, is a brand the right word or something? But I want to make this as big as, as enjoyable as long as I can. So any money I make from this, I will be buying stuff to put back into it, if you know what I mean, right? So uh, enough of that. You're not really bothered, I suppose. But I'm just trying to fill people in. I don't want people to think I'm taking the piss out of us all. and all that. Yes, I'm doing it for the money, but the money will be going back into Blue Van Man and buying different goods and what people ask me to review. So if I've got the money, I will buy a kettle or I don't know, something like that, something a little bit more expensive, but I'm not going to leave the, the grassroots of Blue Van Man of what I started out. It will buying things for a pound, cheap things, cheaper things for people who haven't got the money to, uh, waste on certain stuff so this is quite leading this into quite appropriate situation then because i bought this now i thought i think that i'd already done this i thought i'd already done this irish cider but i'm not sure so it's going to be interesting to see i've, I've looked on my videos and i can't find it so i couldn't have done it but uh, it just seems familiar but there again i've done that many ciders i'm losing track of where a bloody hell i am um now you're gonna to have to bear with it because i'm not going to go out or the dog will come in um, the premium cider. Oh, sorry, I can't fucking. I need my glasses. There it is. No, I need my glasses. Can't see a bloody thing. Struth. Who'd have thought getting old would do this to you? Okay. I had bloody brilliant vision until I started working at this place where I work now. And I have to wear these stupid safety goggles, right? And when you put these safety goggles on, right, you put the safety goggles on and the dust or whatever still gets behind it, it still goes in your eye. When you ain't got them on, you're at least a bit more... Ugh. So since I've been wearing these safety goggles, and because I'm a fat lad, I sweat a lot, right? So the, the, the sweat comes on the inside of the goggles, you ain't got time to take it off, you do, and you, you do this, and then you, somebody, then one of the bosses catches you, and he's like, wipe the sweat off my glasses. I can't see. It's like being underwater because I sweat that much for a fat bloke. How many things have fell off me? Bloody, me Larry Grayson chain thing. 
Larry Grayson, if you don't know who he is, kids, Billy Blight. Billy Blight, thank you, mate. I've just seen you on you, uh, Geordie, True Geordie. Um, it's nice to see. Uh, if you don't know who Larry Grayson is, look him up. What a gay day. Shut that door, Everard. Oh, God, where's me? Here it is. Right. All at a cock. So, here we go, folks. Let's start this again. Rewind. Uh, a premium cider used... Uh, oh. A premium cider made using the best quality apples. Once again, a company is only using the best quality apples. It's amazing. Uh, to give it a refreshing, smooth taste, which is full flavour and aroma. Can be enjoyed on its own or served over ice with extra refreshments. Um, I went through a stage of drinking uh, cider with ice. But it was a real hot summer. It was ideal when you were... Let's turn that bloody light on. Because I keep... Is that better? It might be better. We'll see. We'll, we'll battle on. We'll battle on. See, that's another thing. With the money I make from this, it's going to go and get me a new camera. Things are things are happening, folks. Things are rolling. Um, this is this is going to only get better, as uh, D. Ream said. It's it's only going to get better. Well, hopefully it is. So uh, we used to play cricket, and um, I weren't very good at cricket. If I hit it, I hit it. But uh, Steve Grew, Steve Grew, he can. It's a ball. Steve Grew can, um, local cricketer. And um, he used to just hit them for fun, that bloke. He could just send them over to Cowshot Corner, and it was just, like, effortless. It was like farting to him. He'd just swing the bat, and it would go, get on the side of you, saying. Get on the side of you. Six, seven minutes in, and you ain't even opened it. Um, can be enjoyed on its own or a soda or ice. Yeah, we used to drink. I used to drink a bit of cider and uh, put it in the uh, the glass in and then pour it over cider. It was quite refreshing. But the trouble is, when you've just come in from playing cricket and you've been out on the boundary for about, I don't know, four hours or something, watching everybody tonk you around the ground, um, you want to down it in one, and it's a bit odd when you've got ice in your throat. Uh, I'd just like to uh, congratulate True Geordie on... Uh, Newcastle's win. I think the better side, well, I don't think it. I know the better side won. Um, I don't know what Leicester were doing. I think they probably thought uh, they've had such a good run. It was a foregone conclusion. Don't ever assume, lads. Don't ever assume. So. Uh, it's an Audi one. I think it was something stupid like 90 pence or something or £1.20. Um, I've had this quite a while, to be fair, and I've, I, I've been reviewing other stuff and other stuff catches up with me. And, uh, yeah, it's 4.5% in uh, volume, best served ice cold, and it's a 568 millilitre bottle. 568 millilitres? How the bloody hell do you get 568? Why can't you just make it 570 or something stupid like that? Right, it's got a bit of a pink look to it. Um, it looks a bit rosy, don't it? It likes, uh, It's like uh, somebody's dropped a bit of black currant in there or some kind of raspberry or fruits of the forest kind of drink. It smells of apples. What are them apples? You can get a red apple, can't you? Not pink. Is it Pink Lady? They've got like a hint of pinkness to them, isn't it? Pink Ladies. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it's very sweet. Very sweet. Very palatable. It doesn't leave a roughness on your tongue. It goes down quite well. That's quite nice. That's almost a bit la. Uh, it's like uh, a cider with a lemonade top. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. It's like a cider with a lemonade top. There you go, folks. There's the uh, the label again. Best served ice cold. So. Yeah, it's all right, folks, to be fair. <sighs> to be fair. That's quite pleasant. That is really, really nice. It's a simple cider. It's got a nice taste to it. 
I normally go for the dry ciders. I like the uh, dry blackthorns. I love dry blackthorn and all that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, but this is quite nice. This is a uh, really, really nice. It has got a rosy taste to it, a bit, a real sweet apple. I wonder what apple they used. I mean, obviously, they've only used the best quality apples. And that, but, uh, hmm, it's very nice. Oh, I'll tell you what, folks. This, this is a... Uh, <clears throat> This is a sitting out on my deck in, in the summer, drinking this now, um, or with a vape or a real fag at the time because sometimes I do enjoy a real cigarette, um, but vaping's okay. But sometimes you just can't beat the real thing, and uh, I'm not advocating smoking, it's bad for you. Mind you, you say that. I mean, look at her, uh, Doc Cotton. Dot Cotton Shearer in the uh, in the um, news yesterday. I read it in the. I've got a burp. Hold on, folks. <clears throat> um, she was in the paper yesterday, and um, she's ninety. She's still working, and she's been smoking for seventy years, and she's still here. My mother-in-law. She had been smoking since she was something like fourteen, and she died when she was eighty-four or something like that. So. You know, yeah, my mum, my mum never smoked a fag in her life. She always ate healthily. Uh, she didn't drink. She rode a bike. She walked. She kept active. She was dead by the time she was 58. Work that out. There's a day we all name on it, so while you're here, make the most of it. That is bloody nice. That is really, really good. Well done, Audi, there for selecting that uh, original recipe from Orchard Irish Cider. It's a nice dinky label. Um, it, it just looks old-fashioned, don't it? Do you think it looks old-fashioned? I think it looks old-fashioned. Does it look old-fashioned to you? It looks like something out of the late 60s, 70s in a working men's club or in a snug, that brown bottle. The brown bottle apparently keeps the taste right because the light can't get through to it and ruin it. Um, it's really good. I rate that. So if you're in Aldi, get yourself down there and get some cider. Oh, steady. Laters.